Hi there guys, Kate back here and welcome to this channel. Today we will have a very, very long hike. You will see a lot, so enjoy the ride. Our journey will start with a very picturesque Haydn village to suspension bridge. Then we'll see a beautiful view over the surrounding area, a castle and another town called Rorschach. The names were mentioned there in German, so Saint Anna Schloss and Fünflende Ausblick. The reason behind it is basically if you would want to repeat the exact same uh, hiking trail, then simply place all of these uh, destinations in Google Maps or follow the hiking trails with those destinations, then you will repeat virtually the same experience with us. So one advice here, don't trust the weather forecasts. Uh, they're very changeable. So as you could see, there was a hail uh, just a moment ago on the video but then within five minutes it turned back to a sunny weather so my recommendation is always dress in layers always have an umbrella you know be prepared to any changes in the weather and what is particularly noteworthy about Haydn is the fact that it is the last resting place of Henry Dunant Henry Dunant was a Swiss humanitarian businessman and social activist who was a visionary promoter co-founder and a father of the Red Cross who in 1901 received the first Nobel Peace Prize. Here you will also find Dunant Museum. now we're making our way to our second destination that's the suspension bridge group group is a bridge between Appenzell and St. Gallen it welcome it's a welcome shortcut between two villages for locals it has width of just 65 centimeters so it's one of the narrowest suspension bridges in Switzerland the views from it are stunning but it does shake quite a bit and you can clearly feel that it's very narrow so you know be careful when you cross it So now we're slowly making our way to our third destination, the so-called Fünf Länder Ausblick. In English, it would be Five Country Vista. Now we're here. We will see clearly the Lake Constance and generally far and wide. This hiking trail is famous for its Appenzeller land splendor with lush green alpine meadows, blue lake and mountains.
Now we are making our way to Rorschach. Uh, this is the city, you can see it from afar during the hike. The forest is absolutely gorgeous, lovely path. St. Anna Schloss or Rorschach Castle. It was built in 1100s by the Lords of Rorschach. The Lords of Rorschach were related to the Lords of Harrisau and were the richest knight nobles in the area. At the time of their heyday, or the heyday of their lineage, they were serving the St. Gallen Monastery. Throughout many inheritances, divisions, quarrels, armed conflicts, they were forced to constantly sell the property and eventually even to sell the castle of their ancestors. The family of Lords of Rorschachs died out around 1400s and in 1509 Abbot Franz donated castle to become a chapel in honor of Saint. Since that time the castle was called Saint Anna Castle. And now we're making our way to Rorschach, surrounded by hills and mountains and vast Constance Lake or Bodensee. It is an important harbor. The city was known as a market and had the market rights as early as 1900s and it developed in an important trading center on the southern shores of the lake already in the medieval ages. Stately townhouses and guild houses and plenty of oriel windows are clearly evidences of the heyday of the town in the middle ages. Alright guys, so that would be all that I wanted to share with you for this journey. Uh, I would highly recommend the hiking trail. I think it's one of the best, uh, mostly for its variety. You can see it all, the nature, the lakes, the mountains, the castles, the towns. Um, for us it took one day. It was an amazing experience, so I hope you would experience something similar. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me.